Hello, monsters are bound here, and welcome back to Stellaris. Yes, we're from the Israelite Authority. We are the original Angry Birds. There we are. Look at us, grumpy, but we're obviously an original creation, so I can't get sued. That's that's canon. Good. So uh, yet yeah, we're expanding. We're, we have a little bit of energy issues, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, we're getting minus sixteen from coloni colonization cost, which is only temporary, so that should be fine. Um, I also need to give. Uh, well, mm, mm. Um, Pogacta. There we go. That's what we're going to call that. Pogacta Prime. Uh, how many planets can we have? Okay, we can have five. Yeah. So we can have five core worlds. Any additional worlds will cost us additional to keep. We have to put them into a, a sector which are AI controlled effectively. Um, but for the moment, we're good. Oh, hello. So the T Tain Anki. The space born life forms which the Izarian head of society research has been referred to as the Tianki are docile creatures capable of accessing some lower dimension of subspace. They roam from system to system with remarkable ease. They graze upon gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. It is unlikely, to say the least, that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will rarely, if ever, attack, even when provoked. They can safely be ignored. Okay, good. So that was uh, Alpha Menace, was it? Yeah, that was Alpha Menace. That was the tentacly creatures. The long tentacly creatures, I should uh, say. Special product complete. Uh, space amoebas. The entities encountered by a fleet some time ago are new horrifying life forms. Indeed they are. Quickly nicknamed space amoebas following an analysis analysis gross misreading of initial sensor output, the creature is in fact larger than the average Israel corvette. There would be little harm in putting one of the monstrosities out of its misery for science. Um, issue a special project for a remote space amoeba study where we expect our fleets to make short work of the creatures. Well... They're horrible and alien, of course. We expect our fleets to make short work of the Situation creatures. Log updated. So we need to neutralise a space amoeba, which I think are there. But they're pretty strong. 1k power. So we're probably not going to take one of them on just yet. But four months and we'll have fusion missiles, so then maybe we should, uh, we should kill one. System survey complete. Excellent. We have so, mastered a new technology. Oh, hello. So we've got the observatory. Good. Uh, so what should we do? Oh, we could get hyperdrive too. That would be quite nice. Maybe I should go for that? Or, hmm. Maybe colony development speed? I think I'm going to have a hyperlane breach points. We have identified the existence of points in space where a ship ex expends less energy to breach their way into the hyperlanes. This will lead to a new generation of hyperdrives. I'm going to do that. System survey complete. I'm going to carry on going, that's fine. We uh, have mastered a new technology. Excellent. So, fusion missiles. Finally, we've got the fusion missiles. Oh, so now we've got. We can improve spaceport, so that would allow us to upgrade our spaceports. Uh, building in building speed, that'd be quite useful. Or space torpedoes. Space torpedoes are only really good against large ships, not so good against corvettes. And since we're going to be fighting mostly corvettes, I think I'm going to leave that for the moment. Um, but I think improved spaceport is probably a good option. Let's go for that. So enhancements to artificial gravity and life support systems allow for further expansion of orbital facilities. Excellent. Oh yeah, and of course we've got our, our new ships, haven't we? Uh, so let's... Can we... Fusion missiles, there we go. Let's, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Good, uh, we've got our shield and all that kind of stuff. Good, yes, we're going to overwrite the design and then we're going to upgrade 17 ships. Our ships have been upgraded. Excellent. So now we've got uh, a power of 922. Is that enough to take on the space amoebas? I think so. And I'm almost never wrong. 
We have mastered a new technology. Excellent. We've got the border range. Galactic ambition. There we go. And um, I think I'm going to... Oh, we could go for the energy siphon. So the energy siphon is something we learned from the, um, the Tianki or the, the, the space tentacle bee things. Um, which is a weapon that deals extra damage to shields, which could come in useful if we have to go up against ships with shields. So let's go for that. So adapting to the um, Taianki method of siphoning energy from gaseous matter, it is possible to construct weapons, weapon dra weapons draining energy from enemy ships. Good. Oh, have we finished? No, that's... Well, we've got stuff to upgrade here anyway. Um, yeah, we could use more food. And more energy. And is there anything else looking? That's fine there. Is Rai Prime, how are we looking? That's not too bad. We can upgrade to level 2. We've got my... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Fine, let's build a science, uh, basic science lab there. Upgrade the mine and the energy power plant. And otherwise, I think we're fine. System survey complete. Good, good job. Carry on. Go and survey stuff. Okay, so we're about to jump into the system with the space. Oh, blimey, we're gonna whoa, 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 whoa. Um, oh, blimey, damn it! So when we arrive, we'll jump in straight here, I think. And ideally, I'd like some space to. Um, that's the only place we can jump in. So um, I guess we'll just have to live with it. So we're gonna jump in almost on top of them with missiles, which is less than ideal, but. Um, I think our fleet is more than capable. Oh, they're going to jump in there. Oh, that's fine. I thought they were going to jump in here. So, Il, uh, Admiral Il Sai is going to uh, engage the space amoebas. Oh, chilling stuff. Go get them. There's that cor uh, corvette we found that's got some laser weapons on it. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. We've got our new fusion missiles, and they're opening fire with something. I got some. I got some weird fighty System things. Survey complete. How's the battle going? We've got. We killed one space amoeba. One's down. Oh, we're going to, we've lost the Corvette. It's fine. So it's just the big ones left now. They're going down pretty quickly. Uh, I think our yeah, Governor Robab has leveled up. That's, that's nice. One's dead, two's dead, there we go. And uh, Admiral Ilsai has uh, got, got the unyielding trait. Refuses to even contemplate the very notion of retreating from future engagements. It increases our ship hull, that's pretty good. Right, um, you get back to base, you're gonna go and recover a little bit. Uh, where's our nearest science ship? There you are, go and find out what those amoebas are hiding. So, space amoeba dissected. The space amoebas, now a quasi-derogatory term gleefully popularised by the Israel forces tasked with bringing them down, are much more complex than anticipated. 
The hardy exteriors protect a great number of pockets housing similar amoebas, amoeba creatures that our fleets have observed effectively acting as strike craft when engaging the mothership amoeba. While superficially similar beyond the obvious differences in size, the strike amoeba are much simpler creatures than the space amoeba proper. Inside the space amoeba, beyond their, these pockets, lie hundreds of delicate organs doubtlessly all inter integral to surviving the harsh vacuum of space. Many of these organs are many of these organs ruptured or very simply incinerated in the process of dispatching the amoebas, leaving us with a largely incomplete carcass. However, xenobiologists assigned to this space amoeba project believe that there are process of acquiring specimens is sound, and have distributed specific targeting instructions among the military fleets involved. With five more amoebas killed by surgical strikes to specific parts of the anatomy, a complete carcass can effectively be reconstructed. Whatever helps us get rid of them faster. So that's going to increase damage to space sweepers by 20%. Good stuff. So we need to kill more if we can find them. That was the only ones we found. Maybe that was the only ones that exist. Uh, I think we should build some more corvettes. Oh, hello. Uh, so we found uh, this toxic and lifeless world appears to have once been inhabited by a moderately advanced pre-space civilization. The ruins of these cities are strewn across the surface. Where's that? So that's the Rantor system. That's, uh, oh, Rantor 3A, Toxic World. Okay, well, yeah, go and have a look. Find out what happened. Construction complete. Okay. There is evidence that the current climate of Rantor 3A is the cause of runaway greenhouse effects triggered by massive amounts of pollution. The oceans have boiled away and the moon is permanently enclosed in a dense cloud layer due to a thick atmosphere. Scattered ruins from the indigenous civilization can still be found on the surface, suggesting an overpopulated culture that perished in the mid to late stages of the industrial age. What a waste. Well, not really. I'm just glad they're dead. We have claimed a new world for our people. Good. Uh, so we've got Debris Pogak Tar. Uh, oh, so we've got the debris analysis from the amoebas. We've got the amoeba breeding program plus 10% progress and regenerative hull tissue plus 10% progress. So that's going to be quite useful. Um, right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to build an Isricon there and an Isricon there. And I'm going to clear away this one here. There we go. That's what we're going to do to start. That'll be fine. Um, so we've got one of one of our people's migrating. Do we let them migrate? I, I guess it really doesn't matter. I mean, they can migrate if they want, can't they? That's fine. Um, where's he going? Migrating to Lurgnarkorm Prime. So he's coming here. Sure. Sure. Whatever. Whatever you feel like. So let's upgrade some of our food production facilities that would be fine and the energy the mine as well we've got that going on that's good um what about here i mean i think building a hydroponic farm on three food is probably a good idea we've got some unity coming in as well that'd be nice uh, and our science ship is no longer doing anything so why don't you survey that system, survey that system, and then survey that system. Construction complete. Uh, spaceport, good. Anomaly found. Um, our first finds on Rantor 7A point towards more interesting discoveries to be made on the surface. Well, go and have a bite. You know, don't ask me. Just go. Actually, probably is a good idea to ask me. Repairing our fleet, that's good. Oh, the March of the Brave is very happy. We've got border expansion. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expanding our border, and that's made them very happy. Good. I like a cheerful militarist faction. It's always, well, it's better than an angry one, I guess.
speed things up again, that's fine. Good. And the fleet has been repaired, excellent. I should really get some... Uh, Construction complete. Uh, I should really get some, try and research some different weapons, because having just one type, like missiles, means if your enemy has point defence, then you're a bit screwed. Um, failure. The science team of IS Per Ashnad reports they have not found the impactful data they first expected Rantor 7A to hold. Unfortunate, but never mind. Uh, that's fine, you go and do that. What about research? How are we doing for research? Uh, it's a little way off. Anomaly found. Okay, there are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Well then, have a look. I want to know, what is this precursor civilization? Do they pose a threat? Do we need to kill them more than they already are dead? System survey complete. League Science Base. A surface a surface scan of Mudstrom 1 has identified the remnants of an ancient installation on the planet's surface. Most of the facility was wiped out in a massive explosion some 2 million years ago, but a few outlying buildings more or less survived the blast. All evidence recovered so far points towards this having been some sort of research base built by the First League. Situation log updated. I'll tell you what, um, research that and also research that. And then... Yeah, do that. Uh, we've got inactive buildings. Oh yes, because they moved. That's okay. See, we're, we're re rebuilding a new pot. That's fine. We have mastered a new technology. Good. About time. We've got the uh, improved spaceport. That's going to be useful. Um, okay. Ah, now we got. We could get mass drivers. Kind of want that. I also want the mineral storage. Uh, the mineral silo. Mineral processing. I do want. A, mm, um, I'm going to go for mineral processing. So, uh, optimal processing of m uh, mined minerals have allowed us to reach new levels of efficiency. It's only going to take 16 months, that's not too bad. Special project complete. Archaeological project complete. The archaeological expedition we sent to Mudstrom 1 has returned. Very little remained of the First League research base they were sent to investigate, but judging by the isolated location, we suspect that the research conducted there was of a dangerous nature, possibly involving dimensional travel or advanced bioweapons. A, recover a recovered data disc from the Academy of Sciences has offered some insight into how the scientific community of the First League was organised. An interesting find. So that's given us... Um, one of the so we need six to to move on to the next part and to be honest the first league is probably the uh, there's different precursors you can find and the first league is probably the most boring but uh, never mind oh hello what's that it's a what the friggin that looks fun So that's a dimensional horror. Anomaly found. Oh, so we've discovered life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this moon. What manner of organism could possibly live there? I don't know, but uh, go and find out. Hopefully it's not something terrifying. Uh, did we... Ah, yes. So, yes, we finished... Ah, yes, I, I did look at that one, didn't I? Um, that's okay, you're just growing quite nicely. Everyone's fine there. Um, we could upgrade that one. Let's clear some more of these blockers. Um, you're not doing anything. Uh, maybe basic science lab? Yeah. Oh, you're extra happy. Oh, good. I'm glad you're happy. This is our sort of food world, isn't it? Um, that's fine. Good. So silicon life form, some kind of burrowing silicon based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Quananaga 
1A. As best we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks and there is evidence to suggest they have passed a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunnelling efforts have shuttled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Intriguing. Where's this? Silicon life forms. Ha! Huh, there we go. Some silicon life forms there. We have claimed a new world for our people. Excellent. So we go Iram J. Otak. It's now under our control. So this is the one we have terraformed. So that's looking pretty good, isn't it? Very nice. Um, let's build multiples. Let's build one there, 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 and there. Get some robots doing some mining. That'll be good. And let's get some energy up as well. Pop you there. Uh, you know what? It looks. I mean, that's quite a lot of research on this world. That's pretty good. That's fine. Excellent. I'd like to, I think I would like to, new technology. energy siphon, excellent, that's good, and uh, okay, we get a planetary capital and production targets, colonial centralization, I think I'm going to go for that, colonial centralization. Robust frameworks for local governance created by a per cast on a per cast basis to meet each colony's needs. Sounds pretty good. Let's go for that. Evasive maneuvers initiated. Oh, what the hell's that? Special product complete. Uh, archaeological project complete. The archaeological expedition to the first league cruiser orbiting Beta Corvi 1 has returned. Little of use could be found on the ruined vessel, but the archaeologists did manage to recover its crew manifest. The first league called upon all of its member worlds to staff the Grand Navy, their joint star fleet. And through the manifest, we have learned that the crew of this particular cruiser was made up of individuals from 12 different species. An interesting find, and also a harrowing one. How revolting having to work next to weird aliens. Ugh. Um, okay, so it's like pirates. Privateer, yeah, privateers, oh dear. Uh, how strong are they? 1.3k. Well, that's not far out of our... I reckon we could take them. I reckon we can take them. In fact, let's... Um, let's build five more Corvettes. What about the rest of our... Is our planet still doing okay? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's clear out that. Uh, yes, that's all fine. Uh, let's upgrade that. Construction complete. Fine, good. Situation log updated. Old God approaching the Undaunted. The IS Karmas has entered the Tilliseum system and its crew report that a stellar object not unlike the Shrine to the Untold is indeed orbiting the star. So where's that? That's here. The Stellar Shrine. That's pretty bright, isn't it? Um, science ship, go and... We go have and mastered a new technology. Oh, excellent. So some mineral processing is done. Fantastic. Oh, we could get antimatter missiles. That would be pretty nice. Um, but I might just get the ion thruster. These electric thrusters use beams of ions to generate thrust without the need for propellant. That, yep, that sounds pretty cool. Go for that. Checking they're still equivalent. They are good. They are expanding as well. Uh, Grand Marshal Urba has leveled up. How is Gra Grand Marshal? How you now 58. Jeez. Getting on. Election only on ruler death. So when she once when when Urba pops the clogs, we'll get a new uh, Grand Marshal. 
Special project complete. Uh, old God Shrine to the Undaunted. After days of activity that can be best uh, best be termed fiddling, Science Officer Bogu has retrieved the Doctrine of the Undaunted, a textile scroll coated with a sturdy plastic polymer. Fascinating. I don't know what that is. Is that good? Uh, the temple holding the Undaunted Shrine is true to the myths surrounding him, filled with contraptions of indeterminate origin and purpose, a far cry from the simple puzzle boxes and tests of strength that once filled his temples in Israel Prime. Here, here his holy text will truly be read by the worthy. That said, our sophisticated analysis tools should make short work of these conundrums. I should hope so too. So it looks like the first and third shrine are located in Synth Synthoid Incorporator Space. So if we want to get to them, we're going to have to kill the Synthoids, or at least force them. Oh no, actually we can get to this one. Survey system, you go go grab that one. That's fine. So there's just one. One is still in Synthoid space. System survey complete. Situation log updated. Nice. Karma has entered the attack cavern system and its crew report that a stellar object not unlike the shrines the untold is orbiting the nearby star yep well, there it is and there's the fancy artesian troop uh, why don't you go and research the project try not to die i'm sure uh, a floating temple is absolutely 100 percent safe Check everything's still okay. Yeah, good. That's all fine. Special product complete. Uh, shrine to the Benefactress. Deciphering the pictograms in the Benefactress shrine was a more was a was a much smoother process than anticipated. All linguists invoked describe the language quickly, connecting or clicking in their minds, despite its aging complexity. However, the writings are unlike unlikely to make much sense until they are combined with the other writs associated with the rest of the quandrumative godhead. Fascinating. Uh, so, the shrine, so every surface of the Benefactor Shrine is covered with a complex web of pictograms seemingly telling a story of more expansive than the molecular tablets that survived through the ages on Israel, Israel Prime. Although only distinctly related to a known ancient Israel language, this current technology should allow us to decipher the pictograms given enough time and resources. So if we want to get the last one, it's in the Etan Stellar system. Unfortunately, we can't get to it. Yet. Uh, construction ship. Why don't you... Uh, oh, we have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Erismindian system. These strange objects can be flagged as Kappa Menace until we can learn more about them. Where? That looks like another Empire ship. Let's find out who the hell these people are. It's going to take three months. Go and do it. Uh, construction ship. Go and do some uh, mining. No, not a front. Move here. That's it. Mining station. Good. Mining station. Uh, research station. Mining station. Mining station, mining station, and mining station. We have mastered a new technology. Oh, excellent! Uh, iron thruster. We got that one. Let's go. F I, I wanted the mass driver, didn't I? So let's go for mass drivers. These electromagnetic projectile launchers use magnets to accelerate armor-piercing rounds towards targets at high speed. That sounds fun. Sounds like the kind of thing we want. Um, Let's upgrade to the Ion Thruster. That has that's reduced our shields by 20% because it, in, it increases the amount of power we need. Um, do we... Uh, so, wait, wait. If I go... Yeah, so we can't do that. That's fine. We'll just have to leave it at that. Yes, that's fine. Let's upgrade our ships. And our science ship here is not doing anything, so let's go and survey that system. And that one, and that one, and that one. Our ships have been upgraded. Good. Maybe we should take out the pirates. 
I think we can take the out Zeno the pirates. Empire has somehow deciphered our language. Ugh. After successfully translating their language, we've established communications with the Imari Confederation. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostilities have been terminated. Excellent. Ugh. They're erudite explorers. They're fanatic xenophile and materialist. Greetings from the Imari Confederation. Chancellor Rebic is our elected representative, but in truth, all citizens have a voice in our government. We strive to better ourselves through technology and by studying the alien cultures we encounter as we explore the galaxy. Keep to yourselves, aliens. Where are they? They're over there. That's right, they're pretty far away. Good. They can stay over there. Construction complete. Uh, yes, the Amari Confederation have closed their borders to us. Be uh, how much they, uh, how much they like us? Uh, you know what? They, their opinion of us. We, we've got a slaver policy. We're xenophobic bigots, but they are xenophile, xenophilia, so they like us. But when we close borders, they don't like us. Um, oh. They know quite a few other species by the looks of it. They've even got a defensive pact with one. Interesting. Well, we'll just ignore them. Uh, we've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Witress system. The strange object, the Lambda Menace. Interesting. So we've encountered them in here? Where are they? That looks like another Empire um, station, which suggests they've got control over this space. So I guess we want to um, work out who the hell they are. We have mastered a new technology. So we've got the Hyperdrive 2. We want some new research and I think we need more energy. So I think we're going to go for fusion power. So that's going to give us fusion reactors for our ships. So nuclear fusion processors generate a great amount of power, but without many of the risks associated with fission power. Good. That sounds like good stuff. 32 months, though. That's quite a, quite a while. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's a dimensional horror there. The Xeno Empire has somehow deciphered our language. While successfully translating the language, we have established communications with the Havol Commonwealth. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities have been terminated. Oh my good god! They're dip de democratic crusaders. Really? You They're fanatic egalitarian and militarist. You've got you've got a little something on your head. Is, is that is that supposed to be I think that's supposed to that's fine. Um I represent the Havol Commonwealth, our elected leader, Commissioner Commissary General Van Hus. Hopes for a peaceful relations with your people, but know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. Keep to yourselves, alien. Jeez, they've got quite a big, big empire there, haven't they? Um, okay, so they've got a research agreement uh, with the Havoy Commonwealth, and they're both. So they're xenophile, they're egalitarians. So they probably like each other quite a bit. Um, they've got a. Uh, um, so they've got closed borders with three unidentified empires. They do not like us. Slavery policy, xenophobic bigots, is an autocracy. Closed borders. Uh, they want to give us some. They want to give us some democracy. Have you changed clothes? You look ill. I th I'm sure you were a darker colour of red last time. Never mind. Um, yeah, I, I just right. Uh, wait, wait. Right, we're equivalent to them. That's just as well. Right, we've entered the privateer space. Uh, yes, we have. They've closed their borders to us, uh, but never mind. So we're going to engage the privateers with our brand new spanking fleet. I don't know if it spanks. Might not. Go on. I want to follow. There you are. The Xeno Empire has somehow deciphered our We've language. received a communique from a previously unknown speaker, so the re -Ub enlightened kingdom. God, we're meeting them all now. Who the hell are you? Uh, authoritarian fanatic spiritualist. So you're the Ori, I guess, from, from Stargate? Except your plants. 
You're getting pollen everywhere, that is revolting. Um, I speak on behalf of the Reboop Enlightened Kingdom, and I have been authorised to bring you greetings as long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader, High King Zin Kava, one with reverence. I see no reason for our diplomatic relations to sour. Keep to yourselves, alien. Go to hell. Are we going to win against this lot? I hope they don't have point defence. Seems to be a lot of them. I'm sure we're fine. If this goes horribly wrong, I'm bugging out. Zeno station engaged. Of missiles. How's it looking? It's not looking good. This is going badly. We're going to retreat. The turret, all crap, prepare to retreat. You won't get another chance at this, Admiral. We have no choice, General Calrissian. Our cruisers can't repel firepower of that magnitude. We had to. We had to retreat. We were taking a lot of damage. We need point defenses. We should, do we, we've got point defenses, haven't we? Do we need destroyers for point defense? Um, yeah, I think. Sure, did we, we definitely did get point defence, didn't we? Researched. Yes, point defence. So I think we need destroyers for point defence. Um, so that's not going to be for a little while. That's fine, but we do need to replace the ships we lost. There we go, replaced. Of course, every fallen corvette will be honoured. But we can also replace them really cheaply, so it's fine. We have mastered a new technology. Uh, okay, great. So that's the particle. That's the um, mass driver. What do I want? Do I want? Tell that. I mean, none of these are particularly great. The defense station could come in useful. Armor might be useful. Um. Let's go for the Teldar Crystals. Teldar Crystals emanate telltale wavelengths of light outside the visible spectrum. Sure, that sounds... Yeah, that sounds like weird things. We'll do that. Oh well, so unfortunately we lost the fleet. We've met a lot of new enemies. Not friends, really. People we don't like. Um, which is a shame, but uh, never mind. We'll just have to... Oh, so that's where they are. They're over there. That's fine. We'll have to deal with them at some point, especially these guys. I want to get that last... We might have to declare war on them. Are they they, they friends with anyone? Uh, they are not System friends with anyone. Complete. So they could be a good option for a good kicking, maybe. So there we go. So uh, that'll be next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.